how to reset your Digital Ocean Droplets root password. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to digitalocean.com. If you haven't signed up to Digital Ocean yet, here is my referral link. I'll put this in the video description below. It will give you $100 free cloud credits on Digital Ocean to test out their servers free for 60 days. This is only available to new customers who sign up using my referral link. If you're already a Digital Ocean customer, simply left click on login. Once you've logged into your DigitalOcean account, you'll be taken into your DigitalOcean's control panel. As you can see guys, to the left hand side here, I'm in the Websplaining projects, where you can see all my DigitalOcean droplets that I've spun up on this current project. For today's video, I'm going to be focusing on the droplet called test-server. If you forgot your root password for a particular droplet, then you can follow these steps on how to reset your root password. Once you've located the droplet that you're going to be resetting the password for, hover over it, in my case it's test-server, and navigate to the right hand side to the three horizontal dots and simply left click on it. Once you've done that guys, simply left click on access console. You'll now be in your droplets access section, scroll all the way to the bottom and you should see where it says reset root password password. Clicking reset root password below will immediately shut down your droplet and set a new root password. The new root password will be emailed to you within a few minutes. If the email doesn't arrive or the new password doesn't work, try using the recovery environment. As you can see guys, this is hyperlinked. However, you'll only need to click on this if the email doesn't arrive or the new password doesn't work. And at the very bottom here, it says, do you wish to proceed? And if you do want to proceed with the password reset for the droplet in question, simply left click on reset root password. DigitalOcean will now begin shutting down your droplet and setting a new root password. Your new root password will then be emailed to you within a few minutes. I'll be back with you guys once I've received the email from DigitalOcean with with my droplets new root password. All right guys, I'm back and I've now just received the email from DigitalOcean with the new root password for my droplet. So all I'm going to do now guys is simply left click on the other tab that I have open here to be taken to my email inbox and as you can see, the subject of the email is your droplets password has been reset and then the name of your droplet. The email's from DigitalOcean support, support at digitalocean.com and underneath it says your droplets password has been temporarily reset to and then your new unique root password for your droplet. You'll be prompted to set a new password upon your next SSH or console login. If you haven't done so already, we recommend that you add an SSH key to your account and create your droplet with that key. And then underneath there's a URL address showing you how you can add an SSH key to your account. Great guys, so once you've got your new droplets temporary root password, what I recommend doing is copying it immediately and then pasting it into a text editor and saving it. Once you've copied it guys, you can close out of your email inbox. Once done, you'll be taken back to your droplets access section. I'm just going to scroll all the way to the top here and then I'm going to navigate to the bottom left hand corner to the star icon and left click on it. And then I'm going to go to the very top here and I'm going to search for notepad. Once done, the best match should be the notepad app. And then I'm going to navigate to the right hand side and left click on open. Once the notepad text editor has opened, I'm going to right click with inside it and paste in my new temporary root password. I'm going to minimize notepad for the time being and I'm going to copy the IPv4 address of my digital ocean droplet that I just reset the root password for. I'm now going to close out of my browser to be taken to my desktop and I'm going to open up an SSH client called Putty. I'm just going to double click on the Putty shortcut here on my desktop. Putty is an SSH client available for Windows used to connect to your digital ocean droplet via the SSH protocol. Once Putty has opened, look to where it says host name or IP address and simply paste in the IPv4 address of your digital ocean droplet that you just reset the root password for. Leave the port as 22 and make sure the connection type is SSH. Once done guys, simply left click on open. The putty terminal window will then open and I'm just going to maximize this window here. At the very top it says login as and we're going to log in as root guys. So I'm just going to type root and hit enter and underneath you'll be asked for your digital ocean droplets root password. In my case guys, I've pasted it into the notepad here for safekeeping. I'm just going to copy it now by highlighting it and then right clicking on it and then left clicking on copy. Once your new temporary root password has been copied, you can minimize the text editor and then simply right click to paste and hit enter. Once done, you'll be connected to your digital ocean droplet. As you can see at the very top here, it says you are required to change your root password immediately. 
administrator enforced. And at the very bottom here, it says changing password for root, current password. So I'm just going to right click again to paste in the temporary root password that I got emailed to me and then hit enter. And now I'm going to enter in my desired new root password for my digital ocean droplet. So I'm just going to do that now. Once you've typed in your new root password, hit enter and you'll be asked to retype your new password. So I'm just going to do that now, guys. Once done, hit enter. And now your root password for your digital ocean droplet has been changed from the temporary root password that was emailed to you by digital ocean to your new desired root password that you just set in the putty terminal window here. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to reset your digital ocean droplets root password. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so